I will show you today at the Y5 Clock Spy Camera 1080 Resolution. How are we doing everyone? This is Dario from Media Box ENT. So let's see what we get. We get the transformer, the USB cable you can plug in your computer or to uh, charge your um your clock. You get a CD also you can control it with the Windows, but today purpose is we're gonna do everything in application. Alright, so let's look at the clock and also we get the manual. So let's look the clock looks pretty cool. Let me make sure you put fingers, fingers will um will show up pretty easy because it's a glass, but when you clean it, it's not supposed to be touched anymore. So let's turn it on right over here. Let's see if we can see is the camera. Yes, yeah, right there. We see the camera with the infrared lighting. And right over here, well, you, you can hang it or just keep it that way. Now let's turn it on. Now the battery lasts eight hours. So there's two things you can do. You can leave it uh, charge on the wall all the time or you can move it somewhere else and record okay to charge it we're going to put it right over here micro usb comes with the cable and then when you charge it you see the light right over there all right so let's take the charge from we don't need this charge already to turn it on you just go like this and it will come on in a minute now to reset this and make this in case you not get connected you want to set it out the way you do it, you're going to press this button on the bottom until you see this goes black and the light changes. So we're going to press, takes a little bit, the time. So we're going to hold it. We wait. Complete We have to wait for the lighting to change. That's it. You see that? We always come back now it's full reset All right so that's the reset cycle takes about maybe 20 to 30 seconds on um, so we are ready now so now you need to download the application it's called i mini cam or you can just look in the manual you can scan it for me i searched that in google store it was pretty simple now we got it the camera now remember the any any device uh, smart devices like plug, uh, lamps, uh, all the light bulbs, anything that works with Google, Google Home, and and Alexa, they all work on the 2.4 network. So make sure your 2.4 network is working. So one, <clears throat> we know the 2.4 is working. We're going to click here, the plus, set up the camera, Wi-Fi connection. See, it show you there where you're supposed to look. We put connect to the camera. We wait a little bit, it's going to show up in a second. And each camera has their own serial number, so yours will look different. We click right over there, and we get no connection, and that's fine. Let's go back to the application. All right, so when we are connected there, now the next step is a camera online because it already knows the network and the camera is already there. So we go back and let's see if we can see it now and the camera is in the main section is online. Now from here we can change your password. They do recommend to change your password. We're not going to do that right now. We're going to escape it. By the way, the default password is uh, and we can see already, let me go back. The default password is uh, quadruple eight. So eight, eight, eight is your password. Now, <clears throat> here we can modify the camera. We can modify the camera. We can uh, call different name. This, we're gonna leave it because that's the ID of the camera. This is the triple or quadruple eight. You're gonna change that. We're gonna leave it now the way it is. We're going to come back. Let's go back again. We can delete, we can reconnect the camera and then we can config the camera. Now here, we're going to make sure we config the network. So my next thing is config the network is 2.4. What I'm going to do, I'm going to type the password on my network. 
So that's it. That's the password for my network. So next time, because right now I'm local connect with this, I want to make sure when I disconnect my phone from that, I still be able to connect. Press OK. Yes. That's it. Now it's rebooting the camera, so we need to wait a little bit. I think it takes about a minute. See, it's rebooting right now. So what's going to happen now? The clock. It's going to connect automatic to the network because we set the password. See what I did before, I just create a local network between my phone and the clock. And normally that's the way you set up any light bulb when you have smart devices. So now <clears throat> it should detect in a minute. It takes a little, a little time. See, it's getting there, blinking. I think actually it will let me know when it's connected. So let's see if we can see it. I think it's still connecting. Okay. 9.42. And that's the time right now. So, but the time, the time in China. So we got to change that. So let's go back and let's see. Let me make sure we can log in. See, we wait online. You see, it takes a little time. Very important that you guys need to wait for this. See, we spent about, this is real time. I didn't edit the video or anything. So it takes about a minute. Some people tend to speed it up the process and then you're not going to connect. So now it's connected. You know, I can take my phone, I can, whatever. It will still always give me the time. And another thing, remember, this is a camera with Spice camera. Now, uh, uh, it will not give you a lot of configuration on the clock. It's just a clock with the light nothing more it will not wake you up in the morning it will not do none of those things this is like a high powerful camera hot in a clock not a clock with the camera and see the other way around it's a camera with a clock all right so now <clears throat> we click right there and we're not going to modify the camera we're really there we change the password we did all that we're going to look into the advanced configuration few things and no memory included, so you have to install the memory install. I would recommend 32 gig that pretty cheap. That's your memory card. Okay, so you're gonna install it. You can either format in FAT32 and with your computer, or we can do it sometime from here. So let's see. Now, configuration, and yes, we can do it from here. We can set here, we see how much memory is there. We see it on the main screen. All right, and we want resolution 1080, and this and the files are three minutes. So the files every uh, three minutes it will record a small file. So we want to format. So we format the memory, and we deformat the memory, and record all day if we want that. So now let's go back. So we did that. We configured the Wi-Fi. Now, for the infrared, it's manually. So what it means when it gets dark, it will not come on. What you have to do, you have to create your own schedule. If you know it gets dark at five o'clock, then you set it. You schedule every day at five o'clock. Automatic will come on <clears throat> the infrared, but manually it will not show you anything. All right. So we leave it manually. Now, time settings, yes, this is wrong. So we need to set, so automatic gets from the time, but we need to set it into New York time. Right there, press okay. Let's set up. We can change the way we want it. We want it year, day, month. Yeah, we want that. And we wait. Now, miscellaneous configuration. Yes, we are in USA. So we want to change this to 60. And we press OK. And here, we can, again, we can change your password. Remember, with 888. We're not going to do that. We can reboot the camera and we, we can reset it. Now, another thing too you can do is set an alarm. 
here well in my case i have a schedule i shut it off but you can and let me hit a notification you can send an alarm here and you can send also in case you have a pet at home a dog you don't want maybe the alarm to go off because some um a small pet is walking around the house so you can change that all right and you can put a warning tone that's loud this thing will scream loud when if you click that so you can set an alarm it can send you an email even it can upload to an, an, an ftp the pictures of the video and you can set uh, the notification and the screen put okay saving okay so now from here we can see live screen we can take a picture so if i go like this boom, we can take a picture see we can see the video recording and we can set the alarms so we're going to go live we're going to click here i get a warning here that I should change your password so we're going to skip that and we left for the live feed and you see here it will give you the time so we see right now let's move the camera and let's see we can see me right there yes and it has a nice feed now to get more configuration out of the clock you're going to click right in the middle of the screen and we can see here we can listen to uh to the clock so if we press here and we are remote we can listen any conversation inside the house we can talk to the clock and this thing is loud i will move out of the out of the mic and we try that we can take a picture we can record and we can change locations we can like turn the camera see into the side we can change locations into the camera all right we can do that too and we can turn on here we can and make it darker or lighter if you want we can also change the resolution it's not 1080 right now let's go 1080 so now we get a 1080s feed that's 1080 if we can activate here the night vision too so now let's say somebody goes inside the house um and you want to tell it hey, you know run away So it's pretty loud. The way to do it is right over here. See, when you activate the mic, you just come here and press, and then, and then you can talk to to the clock. Now, the other things we can do, we can change the lighting. See here, we can change the lighting of the clock. You can even create a schedule if you want. There is many effects. You can create a schedule here and edit a schedule. And you can set what dates and alarms if you want like mondays to be red uh, every day will have a different color so that's real nice but once again i said this is more a camera than a clock by itself this is a camera higher high and a clock not a clock higher than a camera so it was pretty good if you look at something that has a good high resolution it looks pretty cool i guess if you put it somewhere in the shelf uh it will look it will look real nice and you can keep it a lot of nice maybe um, or you can hand in the wall and it give you the time and at the same time you have the nice camera right there